Okay, welcome to this edition of uh, Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take the Phantom 3 uh, for um, a maiden flight over Lake Huron. So, let's hope everything goes well. So, I want to go ahead. Um, I've got GPS. I'm ready to fly. I'm going to fly this in beginner mode. So, let's go ahead and let's take off. So, I'm going to do the takeoff routine here. And let's see what happens. Uh, so far, nothing. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to go for takeoff. I'm going to swipe it over. I got props up. And I have takeoff. Um, what I want to do, so I got good hover actually. It's uh, doing a little bit better than the up air. So I want to go over here to video and I want to start capturing video. I think I'm capturing video, so uh, wow. That thing is like rock solid. You can see that. This is like rock solid. So uh, let's let's take it up a little bit. Let's take it out a little bit. Again, I got it in beginner's mode, so it's not going to go out too far. I want to just be able to fly this a little bit and kind of get used to it and uh, see how it is. So we're going to fly it out a little bit up this way. And wow, as a platform, it is really stable. So I, I'm, I'm very impressed already. Um... Yeah, very impressed. So you can see it up there. Again, I'm recording the screen on this, I hope. I hope it's all going good. So uh, just kind of yawn this around a little bit. <laughs> kind of getting some stuff. Let's, uh, let's try taking it up a little bit more. Uh, the copter is very responsive, very responsive and stable. I think it's actually a little bit more responsive and stable than even my up air. Just kind of looking around, make sure I don't have any people around me as I'm flying this. So as I want to take this, take this out a little bit further. Uh, so you can see it up there, flying it out a little bit on a yacht background. I want to fly it downrange a little bit. It pitches a little bit in the yaw sequence. So flying it down. Let's yaw it around a little bit. Makes a good yaw. Having a little bit of a hard time, my eyes adjusting between the brighter sky and uh, the... Um, LCD, the, the phone display. So I'm taking it out a little bit further. Let's uh, see. I think I'm probably getting out to about its maximum for beginner mode. So let's take it up this way. Let's see what happens when it hits the end of... Uh, let's see how far to go. In, in beginner mode. So it, uh, let's turn it back around. Let's take her back around this way and see what happens. Flying it out. Hopefully it doesn't fall out of the sky when it hits the end of beginner mode. There it pretty much hit, has hit the end. Let's see, taking it out where it goes. Ah, right about there. Let's let's take it up a little bit. And let's yaw it about. I'm going to save off the video just to be on the safe side of the video. I'm 
I tipped the gimbal down a little bit so you can see the shoreline. Let's do a little bit of pan around. You can see the waves. And so far, a pretty good flight. I'm uh, so far impressed with the Phantom. So just checking the hat cam, making sure we still have video. Just taking it out. Let's pop it up a little bit. Hopefully you've seen this. Readjust the hat cam a little bit. So again, this is the maiden flight of the uh, up air. So nice responsiveness. You can see a bird out there as I'm flying around. Let's, let's bring it down a little bit and see how it performs as we get closer to the water. So let's get a little bit closer to the water. Let's, uh, let's do a little padding around here. You're probably seeing me on the beach controlling it. And all my stuff set up. Around. So far everything seems to be good on the uh, statistics and uh, again hopefully the screen's getting recorded. Let's take it back up a little bit. Flying amongst the birds here. Let's uh, loop it around. And let's uh, see if we can fly it out that way. Let's uh, take it back out a little bit more. See how she does. Done pretty good. She's hitting up uh, right now. I got my stick full out, and it's uh, stopping it at beginner's mode. So uh, I think that's about 300 meters. I want to check the ground station real quick for the up air. I think it's beeping at me. It wants to be turned off, or something's beeping at me. Uh, I don't know where the switch is at. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I don't know if that was beeping or this beeping. Uh, so far, I don't see anything complaining on here. I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, I definitely got to get some sort of shield for this. Um, just trying to look here. Distance, 27 meters. Height, about 14 meters. Just kind of looking at the statistics. Uh, satellites all good. Everything seems to be running good. I got something beeping. Oh, actually, actually, I think it's the up air transmitter. Sorry about that. All right, let's back to flying this one. Okay, so uh, flight time seems to be good. I'm just kind of you know mulling about, seeing uh, how the flight time is on this and. Again, I, I'm fighting a bit of a breeze, maybe about a six mile an hour breeze or such out here. Uh, however, it's holding really nice, and I think that's evident in the video. So very impressed with it as a video acquisition platform. So again, very cool. So again, let's, uh, let's fly up, look at the shore. There were some people over there, so I didn't want to go up there before. I didn't want to fly over anybody. So, uh, so you can kind of see down the, um, oh, I don't know, gazebos or whatever the heck you call those things over there. So you're kind of looking at that in the picture, kind of milling about. Again, going out there looking at the lake. I was hoping for a ship to be uh, coming and uh, kind of get some ship videos, but nothing today. So uh, we came up a little bit dry on that. So let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, again, uh, I want to take it out a little bit that way and see where, where it goes. I'm about at the end again of beginner's mode. So, uh, which is good. I kind of like it because I wanted to try this in beginner's mode just to see how it is. And I, I gotta admit, I really recommend it. I've got a lot of hours under my belt flying. But it's just kind of nice to take it up and have this little bit of a safety tether, if you will. Um, 
and playing with it and getting used to its performance because the performance is a little bit different than my up air. It does seem to be a little bit more refined than the up air, if you will, uh, which is really nice. So uh, I'm enjoying that. Uh, it does seem to pitch a little bit more than the up air does. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see that. I'll see if I can't zoom in on that. Um, uh, not, not a big issue. But as it goes out there, but I think this uh, this is one of the reasons that improves its performance, if you will. Uh, let's see if we can get the bird. See if we can get the bird. See the bird flying away? I think I got the bird flying away on there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to bring something down. Something flashed up on the screen. Oh, maximum flight distance. In other words, it's telling me my maximum flight distance is... So let, let's... Uh, I don't want to bring this down too fast because I don't want it to end up in the drink, but I want to kind of bring it down a little bit proportional. So there I am, standing on the beach or on the boardwalk, waving. And so you can kind of see, see that. And so I'm going to kind of pan around and see what kind of pans I get. See what kind of control because one of the things I do want to experiment with is uh, orbit mode in that. Obviously, I'll be making the jump to Leechy and autopilot with this guy. So, uh, but before I did, I kind of wanted to get a little bit used to it with the DJI Go app, and so I've uh, been doing that, and it's uh, been pretty good. So, so far, pretty happy and getting it out there. So let's uh, let's take it up a little bit. So let's bring it back and use a little bit of the stick. We'll just back her up like that. Woo so, uh, so I want to play around. I think I got enough to do some cinematic. Um, I just want to hear a plane. So I should be uh, engulfed to easily 700 feet before I hit echo. So I should be okay, but I want to be on the safe side. But uh, what I want to do is I want to bring this down. I'm going to bring this back. And uh, I want to go for some cinematic effect here. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. Because there's a little bit of cutoff here on the beach. And what I want to do is get a little bit. I'm having a hard time seeing it. So I want to gimbal down. And then with this, what I want to do with the gimbal is I want to race out like this. Now I hit my limit. I'm going to go up because I don't want this to fall. And then I'm going to save that video then restart the video. And then I'm going to bring it back and see about doing that, that again. I want to bring it over this way. So let's bring it back. I got to bring it back between all my tripods and junk. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring it back. Bring it back towards me a little bit. Now I'll bring it down. And uh, I still got pretty good battery. You can see the battery indicator. So I see that. Now what I'm going to do is race it out. And pull it up. And keep going. Interesting. So I wonder how that video uh, is going to work. I'm going to save out that video again. Make sure I got it. Uh, re restart it again. So, uh, battery life's doing pretty good. I'm really happy with the stability of the battery, especially the cold weather. I'm talking about 36 degrees out here, so uh, it's uh, still a little bit wintry here in Michigan. The one thing I was hoping for is some ice pack to be in the lake. So, uh, we don't really have any ice pack this year. We've had such a light winter, no ice is formed. Usually this time of year, this would all be full of ice, or big chunks of like little icebergs, and I really wanted to get some nice video of that, and so, uh, anyways, uh, that didn't happen. 
So I'm going to bring this back again. I'm going to try that one more time. Let's try a little bit more cinematic effect. And, uh, and then we'll bring it in and call it done. So we're just going to kind of bring it back. I'm going to... I'm going to bring her back to me. And I think I'm going to try to get a little bit less altitude on it. And uh, seeing how that hold works. So I'm going to bring it back. Try not to run into the ground station of the uh, up air. Okay, so we're actually pretty close to the ground. I'm going to yaw it a little bit, so I head right towards those rocks. A little bit out, and uh, I think I'm recording and everything. So I'm going to punch it, and then as I'm doing this, I'm going to lift it up. So there we go. I think we got the money shot there, so that was pretty good. I like that. Hopefully uh, that came out good. I'm going to save the video out again, and then uh, just basically I'm going to take it up. See where it tops out height wise. I think it should do about 100 feet. There we are. So we're at about 100 feet up there. So let's do a little bit of yawn around to get some video. And then we're going to call it a day. So we're going to call it a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the return to home function. So land aircraft, land, uh, cancel. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, return to home and land. So let's return to home and land. So we've uh, initiated return to home and land. Got this going. I just want to check the area, make sure I'm clear. I am. And, uh, You know, for some reason, with the as with the up air too, it sort of overshoots a little bit, then comes back, which makes me a little bit nervous. But uh, we're definitely coming down. I want to get this 360 degree camera out of the way. I wonder if it's still recording. So again, one of the things, this has landed, I just launched the up air from the same spot and basically this has landed in roughly the same area. Now one of the things, notice the uh, guard on here uh, that I've put. And part of it in my discussion video about that, here's part of the reason I've done that, is this is going to help keep some of the sand out of the camera and stuff. And there we go, we've got a nice uh, set down. We've disarmed the copter and now we're all good. So hey, this first maiden voyage of the uh, up air and uh, one of the things I want to do is make sure we... Uh, uh, I don't know if we got the screen capture. So we'll stop that. Um, so hopefully we got the screen capture. I don't know if we did. If not, we got the hat cam. We got some video on the copter. So uh, very good uh, flight, main flight. So again, subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in getting one of these, I got the link down below. Very happy with it. Main flight went great. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.